47-year-old man by the name of Ron Tebow wanted to find and confront a person who molested him back in 1970. It was his teenage neighbor, and back then he was so ashamed of the situation that occurred that he didn't tell his mother, he didn't t tell his stepmother, and he kind of just let it go until now. Hmm. So he went on the search for this guy, and he finally found him. His name is, he refers to this guy as Butch, mm -hmm. okay? And because of the statute of limitations, they're not able to prosecute this guy, but Ron Tebow thought it would be a good idea to catch this guy on tape confessing to what he did and then post it on the Internet so people would know what he did. Damn, that's like a Phil Collins song. So we have that video for you guys. We obtained this video from AOL News, and it's a shorter version of the, the tape, but there's a longer version out there that doesn't have the molester's fa face blurred. Mm, okay? okay? So th let's show you the version that we have. As soon as his ass comes up here, I'm going to get the plan. Okay? As soon as he comes up here, I'm going to straight out ask him, why did you molest my sister or not? Why? Why? Do you remember the car specifically with my sister and I back there? Larry was standing guard, and you molested my sister. I could have. I, I mean, I don't recall. I don't recall, really. I, you I, did. I, I remember. I, I was, I, and I appreciate you telling me that. Right. But you did. And my sister, you know, she would have to rock herself to sleep at night because of that. I'm truly sorry. That's all I can say. You know, I, there's nothing more I can do. I'm not here to pick a fight with you, man. Well, I know. I'm just here to get some closure on this, man. Well, I hope you find it. I, I, I surely do. I just don't, I just didn't know what satisfaction there is when, a, you know, a man at 15 sees in a five-year-old. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I know. You know, was, I was a juvenile myself. No, you were. You were very young. You were very young then. And I just don't know why it happened. And if you could help me understand, and then I can move on, and we can shake hands, and I could be on my way. Well, I, I, I can't help you. I don't know. I don't. Did you, um, can I ask you a question, another one, since you've been so honest with me, and I appreciate it. What about my other sister? You remember my sister, Cheryl? Did you molest my other sister at all? I don't know. I, I, like I said, I don't know. But you remember molesting my sister and me. One of them, I don't know which. Yeah, one. but and it was you molested me too. Well, see, I don't even remember that. You took you and Larry took me up to that house where the. Uh, yeah. I don't remember their name. I have a horrible memory. But um, you took me up to their house, and we cut through the field, and uh, you uh, molested uh, me in the house. Well, I'm sorry. You know, I I I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm sorry. Asshole. I told you it was him. Now I got acknowledgement that it was him. There is a man that molested my sister, and he just admitted to it on camera right now. I got him, which I got you. Wow, that's interesting. That is interesting, and that's pretty good payback. Like, mm. obviously, we have the b blurred version of the tape, but the real version of it does not have the individual's face blurred. Right, you see him. that's his, it, when he puts it up on his account, that's his legal responsibility. Right. right? That's why AOL News, etc. blurs that guy's face, because they don't know it for sure, mm -hmm. although there it is, confessing on camera, right? So you get a pretty good sense of it. Uh, so do you think he did the right thing? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, and I... I you know, it, this is a crazy little bit of credit to the to the molester, but he was very honest. Most guys were like, oh, no, hell no, get out of here. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember anything. So he must have at least felt guilty about it. Yeah. Now, what is to the great discredit of the molester is that he's a molester. Right. And that he did that to that kid and a five-year-old sister. You know. I know. Look. You know what? This is a hard situation because the next story that we're going to talk about has to do with child molest. Like, child sex offenders and whether or not they should be registered as, as sex offenders for the rest of their lives and whether or not they should be punished for the rest of their lives and you know 
case by case basis is interesting because you'll have differing opinions and we don't know all of the facts of the story we don't know how heinous his crime was and we know that he was underage he was a teenager and we don't we don't know if he was sexually assaulted himself so it's hard for me to say like my first initial reaction is yes he freaking deserves this he molested at least two people when he was a teenager and obviously these people are still feeling uh, the pain from it today and this happened in 1970 right but at the same time it's hard because he was a teenager himself and I'm not sticking up for him in any way but he, well, the thing that came to my mind is, man, if he did it to those two people, how many people did he do it to? Right. You know? And so, it's thing. But I'll tell you what. Uh, here, here's who I'm not blaming. The guy who made the tape. Right? right. Because you've been dealing with that pain for your whole life, and your sister has, et cetera, and cried herself to sleep. And so if this is how you choose to get justice, and the guy admits he did it, I got to say, you know, that makes sense. That makes sense. Some degree of sense for him. I don't know if there's something we want everybody doing, but at the same time, I'm certainly not judging that guy. Right. No, neither am I. Yeah.